Just when you thought New York politics couldn't get dirtier, Governor Cuomo breaks new ground. It sadly recalls the type of unseemly campaign tactics with which Mr. Cuomo has long been associated. In two unforgivable new television commercials now airing in the New York City media market, Mr. Cuomo effectively calls me and the hundreds of thousands of Westchester and Long Island families racist. The reason? Because we don't agree that sensible zoning laws are discriminatory. Mr. Cuomo's ads viciously attacks us for defending our communities against arbitrary federal interference and the insane property tax hikes that would come with it. How dare you throw out the race card when you know it doesn't apply? Have you no shame? Westchester and Long Island communities aren't racist, Governor. Westchester is the fourth most diverse county in New York State, tied with Manhattan. But you should know that. You live in one of those neighborhoods the federal government is attacking. If you really think it discriminates, why did you move there? Why do you live there now? And why didn't you say anything about this before I was challenging you for governor? I've been your county executive for four years, and you've never made a peep. Why didn't you object when I was being endorsed for re-election last year by prominent black ministers and current and past leaders of the NAACP? Last week, you sent Al Sharpton to Westchester to stir up discontent, but you can't hide behind surrogates. You might think it's cute to do that, but it's not. It's cowardly. If you've got something to say to me and the people of 31 Westchester communities and Oyster Bay and Nassau County, then say it to us directly. If you've got an accusation to make, make it directly. How about standing behind your attacks by publicly debating the issue? If you have the courage to, how about next week? I'll defend the communities you are debasing, and you can defend the bureaucrats at HUD, the agency you used to lead, and the charges you make in your ads. We can even hold it in Chappaqua, where you live, to make things convenient for you. So what do you say, Governor? Do you want to stand by your charges of racism by debating them openly and honestly in a public forum? Or do you want to throw out false and inflammatory television ads and then hide? It's up to you, Andrew. What's it going to be?